Good afternoon everyone. Very welcome to you all in the first lecture of the Multithesics series. This is a short description about myself. I am Krupali Donda and very honored to be with you today. I did my PhD in Applied Physics from Institute Jean Lemur, CNRS, France. More specifically, my topic was Acoustic Metasurface Design for Low Frequency Absorption. My expertise are acoustic designs, metasurface absorber designs for very low frequency noise and vibration control, and deep learning implementation. A part of my research work, I love traveling, exploring places, and cooking. So let's start. First, what is COMSOL Multiphysics? It is a FEM based solver and simulation software package for various physics and engineering applications, especially coupled phenomena and the multiphysics. The software facilitates conventional physics based user interface and coupled system of partial differential equation. We will understand the physics behind the software in one of the next lecture. Here I am using the latest version, version 6.1. To start, double click the COMSOL Multiphysics icon on your system and it will take you here. This window has two options for creating new model, model wizard and blank model. The model wizard guides you through the first steps of setting up a model like physics and study type. If you choose this blank model option, you, you have to manually add a component and a study. For now, let's choose the model wizard. In the next window, you will select the dimension of the modeling space. Here there are several options 3D, 2D axis symmetric, 2D, 1D axis symmetric, 1D and 0D. Which one to use actually depends on your problem. So for example, let's select 3D now. Next is to select the physics interface. You can add one or more depending on the problem. For each physics module you see here, the details are given here on the right side. Under each physics module you click, it shows additional physics interface and for all this interface the details are nicely explained on here on the right side. For example, let's select acoustics and then thermo viscous acoustics here. The next step you have to select the study type which represent the solver or set of the solvers that will be used for the computation. So here are two types of solver first eigenfrequency and frequency domain. We will learn about all the solvers in the detail in one of the lectures in this course. For now let's select the frequency domain and it's done. You can see the console desktop is now displayed with the model tree configured based on the options you have made in the model wizard. If you select a blank model in the very first step then the console desktop interface displays without any component or study. And in that case you can right click the model tree to add a component of a certain space dimension physics interface or study. On the top of it, it shows a toolbar for quick access. You can see these buttons for access to functionalities such as file, open, save, undo and redo, copy, paste and delete. The home tab contains buttons for the most common operations for making changes to a model, running simulation and for building and testing the model. For example, changing model parameters for parametricized geometry, reviewing material properties and physics, building the mesh here, then running a study or viewing the simulation results. Using the application builder button, you can build easy to use applications based on your simulation with customized interface. As we saw, this ribbon gives quick access to available commands and complements the model tree in the model builder window. Almost all the functionalities that are almost all the functionalities accessed via this ribbon is also accessible by from by right-clicking the nodes on this mod in this model tree. 
However, some operations are only available from the ribbon. For example, selecting which desktop window to display. Using this model builder, you can build a model by starting with the default models tree, adding nodes and editing their setting. Simply you can see every step of the modeling process here, from defining variables to generating the final report of the simulation. For example, geometry, then materials, the physics you have defined, mesh, study and results. All the operations are in sequence. However, you can change this order by moving the subnodes up or down in the model trees. In the global definition node, you can define parameters, variables, functions and the couplings that can be used for throughout the model. For example, uh, we can define here length, then for example 18 millimeter and here we can write the description so this is saved for the wall model in the material subnode you can store material properties that can be referenced in the component nodes of the model the next is a component node that is created by the model wizard when you create a new model here the first step is the geometry it allows you to design your structure. Clicking right on it, you will find several shapes like block, cone, cylinder and spear. You can also find more shapes using more primitive. How we can use them, we will see in one of the next lectures. And here, here in the settings, you have to select the size and angular units of the geometry. For example, let's draw a cylinder now. Geometry, then cylinder. For example, the radius is 10 and the height is 10. Then here you can define the position in the space, then axis type, rotation type, work plane, but here I am not defining for now. So you can see that this is your cylinder of the given dimension. And as an alternative, if you don't want to draw here, you can import this geometry created with a CAD package. It, you can do this from here. Right click on the geometry, then import. So here you can import any file with, with this type. The material subnode allows you to define the material by, by clicking right on it you will find this menu. You can add the material from the default li material library of console. By default the window will open here on the right side. Here. Here you can choose the material for example copper. So it is displayed here and the selection is the cylinder. Alternatively, you can also define the blank material by clicking right on it and then blank material. Next, you will inspect the physics domain settings and set the boundary condition. It depends on your problem. We will see an example in one of the upcoming lecture. You will inspect the physics domain setting and set the boundary condition. It depends on your problem. We will see an example in one of the upcoming lecture. The next step is to mesh your geometry. The mesh setting decides the resolution of the finite element mesh used, used to dis discretize your model. Here in the physics control mesh, you can choose the density of the mesh. In the physics control mesh, you can choose the density of the mesh. For example, nor here there are various options normal fine finer extra fine extremely fine then also coarse coarser extra coarse extremely coarse if your geometry contains narrow faces and edges then you should select slightly finer mesh than the default setting suggests it improves the computational accuracy however at the cost of simulation speed and typically memory uses the next is study. 
we have selected a frequency domain so here you can define your desired frequency range with step size and then compute for example 20 hertz with the step size of 1 and stop at 50 hertz then add and then to start the simulation you have to press this option compute once the sim once the simulation is finished you access the solution and find tools for processing the data in this result node the result node mainly has five sub nodes first is the data set that includes a list of solutions you can work with the second is derived values that define values to be derived from the solution using the number of post processing tools Third is tables which is convenient destination for the derived values. And fourth is export that defines numerical data, images and animations to be exported to files. And the last one is the reports using which generates or custom the whole report about your model. This is the graphic windows that present interactive graphics for the geometry mesh and result nodes and this is the information window in the first of in the messages various information about the current console multiphysics session is displayed progress window shows the progress information from the solver in addition to stop buttons Log presents the information from the solver such as the number of degrees of freedom, solution time and sol solver interaction data. I think these are all the information and introduction you need before starting the console multiphysics. Stay tuned with this lecture series as we will learn the software in detail in upcoming lectures. Thank you everybody for joining and I hope you have a good day. Bye bye.